right, we can go ahead and get started here. We've got head coach Tanisha Wright. If you have a question for her, please raise your hand and then we'll call on you. Spencer, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Hey coach, how are you doing today? Can you hear me all right? I can hear you now. Perfect. Um, I just wanted to ask before anything else, uh, if you have the starting lineup for today. Uh, yes, I have the starting lineup for today. Do you mind uh, sharing it? Uh, Erica Wheeler, Christy oh, Wheeler, Aaron Howard, Howard, Nia Coffey, and Shay. Okay, thank you very much. I also wanted to ask uh, just what your general game plan is for slowing down Dallas today. I had uh, her start. We were out of time crunch. Coach. We're just going to go play our, our scout defense. Um, last door on the right. Kelsey, I can hear you. Sorry. We're, it's okay. We're going to just play our scout defense. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, we'll have a few questions from in the room. Um, Ron, if you want to go ahead and ask. Hello. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, you know your call? Oh, I mean, nobody else is, unless they're talking, and I don't know. Reagan Peebles is going to be here, too. She was one. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. We got a picture of you after you won the title with Seattle. Oh, okay. Which is That's ironic, awesome. because you beat that, <laughs> which I think is pretty ironic. You know. yep. <clears throat> Who were the big mentors to you to get your coaching? Uh, well, for sure, Kara Kaswager was a big mentor. Um, Girl, man. Yeah, I spent four years under her, and um, you know the things that she taught me just just how to be a how how to be a coach essentially. Um, and then I think you know I played for a bunch of different coaches, and so just taking a little bit out of each of their playbook has helped me as well prepare for this opportunity. And coaching with Vicky. I yeah, mean, that, that had to be fun too. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Me and VJ um, coached together the first year um, in the bubble, and that that bubble experience was a different type of experience. So we really learned how to work because um, it, you know, we had limited people, and you still had, you know, the same amount of work. You know, so that that was pretty cool. Learned a lot from VJ as well. Um, so for us to both be in this stage is is pretty special. You know, it's, it's funny because there's some parallels in her first year, what you're doing in your first year. Yeah, yeah. You know, in other words, you know, we're going to have a culture, at number one. Yeah. If you're not going to be part of our culture, there's other teams. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, that's the foundation for what you're, for what you're trying to build. Um, and it doesn't matter what sport organization you, you work for. Um, everybody starts with that. If you want to build a championship um, mindset and championship culture, it has to start with culture. Look at all the sports teams that have been successful over the years. They've all had great culture. And Reagan even had Dan Hughes at, at uh, come and speak to had that little clinic there talk about culture. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it's huge. Um, I, I don't think you can be you can endure success without without culture. You may you know luck up because any type of championships take luck too. You know what I mean? Like you have to be good and you have to have some luck go your way as well. So you can, you can luck up, but if you want longevity with that, then it takes culture. What do you think it is about Atlanta? Who's just, they've not been afraid of leading change, like leading change and yeah. social injustice, yeah. um, leading change, obviously with your roster. And, mm. um, there's no, it doesn't seem like there's any fear there. No, I, I think anytime you're growing, there's going to be change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Growth requires change. And so um, as the city of Atlanta, as the teams in Atlanta, like we're always looking to grow, we're always looking to get better. And so part of that involves change. So, you know, for us, it's just part of the natural progression of getting better and growing. Yep. Excited to see your team. Thank you, I appreciate Defense. it. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and everyone, everyone keeps saying that. <laughs> uh, your keys tonight, because obviously they have a little size advantage. 
Yeah. So your keys. Uh, um, for us, you know, we have to focus on getting back in transition. We obviously um, have to defend one on one because they have special players. Enrique is super special. Gray is special. Um, Mabry, we know, is special. Um, you know, we have to rebound the ball, but we have to. What are you seeing in her? And um, I, th I think if, big steps? yeah, I think if you've, if you've ever watched Nas, um, we're excited because whatever you've ever seen from her is exactly what she's bringing. Um, just her competitiveness, her motor, her ability to get up and down, her communicating, her defense, like, um, you know, she's, she's bringing all of that right now and she's just going to continue to get better and better. So. One last question I got. Uh, Christy Wallace, I yeah. she's the oldest rookie. <laughs> I know her story. story. As she shared with us today. <laughs> had to coach against her, and she just uh, does things that don't show up. Um, yeah. There's a rookie in uh, Connecticut that's that's older she, than her, okay. too, actually. Got it. Thank but, yeah. you for catching me on that. No problem. What is she um, What is she bringing to your squad right now? Christy is uh, like any other Australian. You know what I mean? Yeah, think, I mean. think about what you know about Australians. They're tough. <laughs> But tough as nails. Um, she has a um, feistiness about her, you know. And then um, the one thing I think that she's bringing is just consistency. We know what we're getting every time she steps on the floor. And so that's mm -hmm. exciting. Um, we're really excited to have Christy and the opportunity she has, especially coming off the two injuries. But we're excited that, um, you know, what, what she brings to the table. She really has a Yeah. yeah. I know. After one game. Yep. I, I, do much, I, I, was told, I called the games from Blue Bird Day out of Vegas. Yeah, all good. Good? Good luck. No problem. Kelsey, we do.